Mr. Kipling's cakes. Mr. Kipling's oh. cakes. <laughs> yes. Uh, now we actually saw we did this a couple of uh, maybe a month or two ago, but they were offering uh, trans inclusivity training to staff. But they, I think they what, was it maybe another no, company. No, they were doing that at Aldi. Oh, I get, I, I get more. One up. of those. Yeah. Okay. So well, so they're offering trans inclusivity training to staff at Mr. Kipling. At Mr. Kipling. Is Mr. Kipling himself doing the the course? Yes, he's famously woke. M uh, Ms. Ms. Kipling now. Ms. 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 With an X. With an Kip X. Kipling with a. Anyway. Uh, but they're also offering, which I think is really good, online training for menopause and also uh, maternity coaching sessions. I like this. Yeah, so these are some of these are really good. And why not have some uh, trans-inclusivity well, training? Wait a minute. Right? You say this, Diane, that you like this idea, but it talks about they'll have menopause champions and they're going to have menopause cafes where people can sit around and discuss the menopause. Um, from my understanding, do, do, do women who are going through the menopause want to sit down at work and discuss it? Well, um, they will stand at work and discuss it whilst you're working with them. So wouldn't it be nice if they had a space where they could sit down and discuss yeah, it? Yeah, but that's, it does sound like a terrifying cafe because could you imagine if someone got the order wrong or their way, where's my order? I mean, for anybody who's just... been around menopausal women, it's, uh, you know, where, don't where, get that order wrong. If, like, it's nice that they're going to do this for the staff because then, you know, sometimes, especially with the HRT shortage, yes. there's an HRT shortage, so that means that some women will be having the brain fog, they'll be having the flushes, they can't manage their symptoms. Yes. And so it's quite nice that the person that they're working with will have had this training to go, mm. oh, wait a minute, I know exactly what's going on here. OK, yeah. well, there's a case for that. I do worry about the trans-inclusivity training insofar as uh, I often ask myself, where does this come from? Mm. If they've signed up, and I don't know if they have, but if they've signed up to, say, Stonewall's Diversity Inclusion Scheme, you're going to end up with a lot of gender identity ideology being yeah. pushed through this, you're going to be told people should start declaring their pronouns, and there are ideological ramifications. Sex is a spectrum. All of that. Yeah, yeah exactly. All that, yeah. The gingerbread fact, man. Factually yeah. incorrect. Woman like or you know, exactly. the gingerbread creature. Yeah. But uh, I personally, here's my inside story on this particular story. Guess what? They're <laughs> cheating, that they're doing one course about the menopause, yes. and they're doing one course about trans, uh, gender reassignment surgery, right? Guess who are the two sides of this debate properly? So they probably did the gender reassignment thing and said, you know who, because the movement comes from menopausal women. Women, like who are who are sort of the fighting the, right. against Josh, the you're, ideology. Josh, you're out of control. So I'm going to calm you down now because you know <gasps> you've been sniffing too much of that nail I'm varnish. Sorry, I gave him like I think he's had like three pieces of fun. Well, that that sorry. explains this. So